All right, guys, it's Jernigan here. There's been a stabbing in London. I can't remember what road it was on, but it's, there's been a stabbing in London. It did say on the TV. I think Skinado Studios will probably talk about the stabbing in London. He's a really good YouTuber. He talks about the news and what happens around the country of England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. He probably covered that. Or there's other people that do the same as him and do different videos. There's a woman on here saying the UK COVID-19 test problems could take weeks to fix, says Matt Hancock's, the secretary of the UK. And this woman, this woman um, is from the NHS in the UK and she says the system is broken. So we're going to be playing the video and we're going to see what she's saying. I'll put, unplug the headphones. It's like, it might help if I did that one. <laughs> The system is broken. I'm a GP, my husband is a GP, we weren't able to access the test via the normal routes, and we had to cheat the system. Claire Silito voices the frustration of many. A sick child with suspected COVID, but no way of getting a test. I must have refreshed that screen a hundred times. I checked all night, 2am, 4am. I checked again all day Sunday, um, and again, there was absolutely no test site available. Um, and then what did you do? So on Monday, in desperation, because I'd already missed a whole clinic of seeing patients, I then went to a local test centre and just begged and said that I'm a local doctor, I really need to have a test to enable me to see patients face to face. Um, and they were lovely. They, they helped me to, to manage to, to get a QR code by using a postcode in Scotland. Why are people still struggling to get a test? Infections are rising, capacity is falling, the issue at the top of today's cabinet meeting. The health secretary then called... The Wednesday, he is still awaiting says, coronavirus test rules and members of the, his family. There are operational challenges, and we're working hard to fix them. The demand has risen, so we're having to prioritise once again. And I do not shirk... Office figures show has recorded a 3,105 cases of COVID-19 compared with 2,621 yesterday. UK. The next Broadcasting uh, reports Ireland Star enters a cabinet has self-isolated and the country the parliament is closing for a new week after Health Minister reportedly tested for COVID-19. COVID this guy's got COVID-19 as well. The Labour guy. Seen the Khan. <laughs> Many will agree with Keir Starmer. Schools Keir Starmer, I mean, uh, 26. Alongside many workers, Cross with was bound to Israel. Infection, leading Economy, to White House. Cases. Spokesman. Matt about, yeah. Hancock says there are some operational challenges, but won't say exactly what these are. Labour Keir Starmer. Silico <laughs> did manage to get a test and a result, so there must be at least some capacity in the system. And one lab we've spoken to says it's carrying out tens of thousands of tests every day. So where exactly is the problem? It may lie with the government's strategy to cope with its testing workload. It asked university mm -hmm. staff to help in its newly established Lighthouse Labs, a network of public and private labs. But some of these specialists were only contracted for six months. Boris Johnson asked for them to return, but warned even more specialists would be needed. In his letter addressed to leaders of universities, the Prime Minister says, we need over 400 people to add to hmm? workforces in these laboratories. The issue at the moment is the capacity from the Lighthouse Lab that has fallen quite suddenly. And um, that's <sighs> the oh. uh, So I'd have joined it. It's been a long day for you guys and, and girls. It's all about you. Academic institutions. And they're now returning to their, their jobs and contracted, so they're now going back into the just to return to normal life. The government says it is making sure critical workers like Dr. Silito will be able to get tested. They are a priority, but that could be some weeks off. The need is now. Ashish Joshi, Sky News. Well, it looks like everybody's getting sick of this test, test and trace thing. It doesn't seem to be working for a lot of people. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Give it a like, give a comment this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. When things get better eventually, I hope.